there, Casey here. I'm sitting here doing a little work in my office and I got the biggest craving for some collard greens. So me being me, I decided I'm gonna go out here in the dark and search high and low in every grocery store until I find some decent collard greens to cook. But I tell you, I'm not just tooting my own horn. This recipe is probably the best tasting collard greens or greens period that I've ever tasted. But while we're on the subject of recipes, you see that button right down there? That subscribe button? Do a sister a solid and subscribe to my channel. You know, I love, love, love sharing all my recipes with you guys. And I hope that you enjoy receiving this information. So, I'm inviting you to join the family. Come be with me. In any case, let's get back to these greens. And if you want to know how I do it, stay tuned. Grab a bit of this and a dash of that. Okay, we got our apple cider vinegar, Adolph's meat tenderizer, butter, white pepper, black pepper, Splenda, of course, or sweetener of your choice, garlic powder, Lowry season salt. I've diced up some ham about two cups full and a little bit of bacon fat, and of course the main ingredient, fresh, thoroughly clean, washed, and chopped collard greens. And oh, I want you to check out this short tutorial on prepping your greens before cooking. Now let's get to them greens. So what I'm gonna do now is take a tablespoon full of bacon fat and melt it in my cook pot on high key. Once it melts, it looks like this. Let's check and see if the bacon fat is hot enough because I wanna grab the diced ham and I wanna brown it. Okay, let's see if the water's dancing in that pot. Looks like it is. The bacon fat is ready for some company. So let's get this ham in. Now the ham is already cooked. This is some ham I had left over from the holidays. Had a yummy pineapple glaze. I got an episode coming on how to cook a ham. And the purpose of this exercise is to get the flavor of the ham and bacon fat combined. We're making a seasoned base to cook the collard greens in. Let me get a top on this so I can speed up the process. Now, you see what I'm saying? You see how the ham is caramelizing and the bacon fat is kind of turning a new color because the flavors are bonding together. This is what it should look like after you brown that ham. Now I'm gonna take a tablespoon full of apple cider vinegar and add that to that seasoning base. This is important because the greens recipe is designed to combine the sweet and tanginess together. Now, we're gonna start loading in the greens. Now, I only purchased three bunches of collards and once cleaned and chopped, it's not a massive amount. So, I don't have to worry about overflow. But sometimes you have so many greens that it looks like they're gonna escape from the pot. Not to worry, they decrease in size as they cook down. So let's mix the seasoning base from the bottom of the pot through these greens. And you'll see the color of these greens right now a lighter. As they cook, they're gonna darken up. Now it's time before the greens cook all the way down to sprinkle in a teaspoonful of Adolph's meat tenderizer. And I know you're saying, oh my goodness, she puts Adolph's in everything. But honey, let me tell you, Adolph's is gonna make sure these collars are nice and tender. Let's get it all stirred up. Make sure every green is kissed with that Adolph's. Now we're gonna to continue the cooking process and you see the pot liquor is forming. I'm gonna take the rest of these seasonings and add them in and stir. Oh, stop the presses. I know you are not gonna let me forget that the butter and the splendor or the sweetener of your choice needs to go in them greens. Cause if it doesn't, you're gonna mess up the whole dynamic of the recipe. You're not gonna get the sweet and tangy and that savory flavor we want. And they're not gonna look like this. This is what 
greens look like once they're done. They're darker in an olive color. They're tender. They're bursting with flavor. That pot liquor is savory and creamy and delicious. Mm. I think these greens are ready to be plated up because I know I want to eat them. This is the way your greens should look when it's all said and done. Now let's take a little taste taste. <laughs> Let me get some more. Oh yeah, here it comes. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the sweetness and the tanginess and the savoriness of that pot liquor. These collard greens are going to be the best you've ever had. Trust me. And if you like this episode, hit that like button. Don't forget to ring that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when a new recipe is coming your way. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, you know what I wish you. Love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye. That's no good day.